Very excited to be with you here this morning, so grab a cuppa or get the brekkie started and leave the Saturday soundtrack. A brace of fine pieces to get us started this morning. First of all, we heard Tchaikovsky's Waltz from Sleeping Beauty, played by the Bergen Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Nima Yervi. And then we have music that sounds perfect at this time of day, I think. The first movement of Albinoni's Oboe Concerto in B-flat, played there by the Swiss soloist Heinz Holliger. Hello and good morning. I'm Matt Baker and I am thrilled to be with you here on Classic FM while Alan's away on holiday. I don't know, it's all right for some, isn't it? Well, my sheep are fed, the eggs have been collected, so we can enjoy three hours of the finest classical music together. And I'm very excited to be making my radio debut here with you. And I'm sure you can appreciate I don't really get a lot of downtime with all of my TV work and my animals. But when I do get time off, I love nothing more than playing the piano or my guitar with my son and my dad. So next, I've picked one of the world's best guitarists for us to enjoy. Here's John Williams with the anonymous romance. Well, we don't know who wrote it, but the melody's not easily forgotten. Just beautiful, isn't it? The anonymous romance, played on Classic FM by the great John Williams. Music chap, I'm saving him for a little bit later on. Also on the way, we're going to have some peaceful and serene music for a man who loved the Malvern Hills. But next, a piece that you might know as it's cropped up on our screens more than once. It was used on the soundtrack to the great Gérard Depardieu film Jean de Florette, and then again famously in the 90s to accompany an advert for a well-known beer brand. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's the music of Verdi from the opera that's all about an unfortunate coincidence that drives its characters to a lifetime of incomprehensible behaviour. And it all begins like this. Be one of the top conductors in the world. Riccardo Shai there on the podium for that recording, directing the Giuseppe Verdi Symphony Orchestra of Milan in the overture from Verdi's Force of Destiny. We're raising a glass to you if your name is Stella this morning. Now, have you been watching Le Mis on the TV recently? If you have, the question is, have you been missing the music? Well, not to worry, because in a moment we're going to have one of the standout melodies from the musical version of the story, given brilliant classical treatment. I think you're going to like it. That's coming next on Classic Lily Lily Collins and David O'Yellow, just a couple of weeks ago to talk about the TV drama. But I have to be honest, I couldn't get through the second episode. It was just too sad when she went to get all her hair taken out and her teeth taken out. Oh dear, it was just too much for me. But anyway, that was one of the big tunes from the musical penned by Claude Michel Schoenberg. Bring Him Home, arranged and played by the piano guys. Absolutely beautiful. A very good morning. This is Matt Baker. And I'm very much enjoying spending my Saturday morning here with you on Classic FM. Elgar's Chanson de Mata, played by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra under Pincus Zuckerman. One of Sir Edward's best, I'm sure you'll agree. Well, we'll have more of classical music's biggest hits during the Classic FM Hall of Fame Hour, this morning from nine. The nicknames for Haydn's symphonies, including The Miracle, The Clock and The Bear, and that one was nicknamed The Oxford, apparently because whilst he was in Oxford picking up an honorary degree from the university, he conducted a performance of that symphony. And there we heard the London Symphony Orchestra, Classic FM's orchestra in the city of London, conducted by the late, great Sir Colin Davis. And we're going to be celebrating the birthday of another British conductor who also has a knighthood. I'll tell you more and we'll hear him in action before eight on Classic FM. Oh, short and snappy. They like to keep their dancers brief back in the 1730s. The Bedinnery by Bach from the orchestral suite number two. That was James Galway playing brilliantly there with the Zagreb soloists. You know, my sister learned to play the flute when she was younger, and I vividly remember James Galway's LP, Under the Hi-Fi, in the lounge. <laughs> nice to hear him again. And before that, it was seasonal music for our current weather to aspire to, from Johann Strauss Jr., Voices of Spring, the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra, with Maris Janssens on the podium. A very good morning to you. This is Matt Baker making my Classic FM debut. Thank you very much if you've been in touch with a message of support. Very much appreciated. I'm doing my best to keep all of the music flowing whilst Alan is away on holiday. So today, the 19th of January, is Dolly Parton's birthday. And I'm sure she won't mind me saying that she's 72. Edgar Allan Poe was born on this day. And Sir Simon Rattle celebrates his 64th birthday. So, 
as a birthday treat for him, let's hear one of Liverpool's most famous musical sons conducting Brahms. Go, I thought the icy hall of the Mountain King seemed perfect for today. That was the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, who I had a wonderful time with, actually, in the run-up to Christmas, presenting their festive concert. I shall never forget their percussionist in that turkey suit. A fine pair of drumsticks in more ways than one. <laughs> there, the CBSO were under direction from Zachary Oromo. Before the music of Greek, we heard Mozart, the opening movement so loved by Schubert, of the Symphony No. 4, Charles McCarris and the Scottish Chamber Orchestra. Now, the music mantra that we have in our house is just have fun and make a noise. You know, I've got a collection of instruments from all over the world, and our next artist epitomises exactly that. Let's enjoy the sounds of Lang Lang here on Classic FM with Beethoven. Album, Piano Book, released on the 29th of March. That was Lang Lang performing Beethoven's Fur Elise. Good morning, I'm Matt Baker. Welcome. It's great to be with you here. In just a moment on Classic FM, a composer who was a big deal in the northeast of England back in the 50s. The 1750s, that is. I'll tell you more in a moment and play you one of his best. Movement of the sixth of six cello concertos by John Garth. Richard Tunnicliffe and the Avison Ensemble. This is Matt Baker on Classic FM. Very much enjoying being with you this morning in this guise for the very first time. But it's business as usual at breakfast time tomorrow as Ali Jones keeps you company as you start your Sunday with the very best laid back and refined music. As always, do join him if you can. Now, one of the things that we've been doing over the past few weekends is introducing our children to the movie classics from mine and my wife's childhood. We've done Star Wars, we've done Karate Kid and the Pink Panther, and last weekend, we went back to the future. Classic FM's orchestra in the northwest of England, the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic, with Vaughan Williams' folk songs from Somerset, part of his English folk song suite. And from the southwest of England, we journey up the M5 and the A1 now up to my neck of the woods. And that is because at this time, every Saturday morning, Alan has a great British discovery. And so I thought I'd pick some music that's connected to where I'm from. John Garth, he was a canny lad born up in Whittenley Weir on the edge of the Durham Dales. If you're from there, you'll know exactly where I'm talking about. Well, this place was just on the opposite side to the valley to our farm. And he was a big deal for music in and around Durham in the 1750s and a couple of decades after that, to be fair. He was promoting concerts and even selling tickets from his own house. Now, John was a teacher in the area, and he also composed a fine set of cello concertos. There were six in total, so here's the last of them for us to enjoy. This is the first movement. Put your hoverboards away now. <laughs> Alan Silvestri's brilliant theme for Back to the Future, played by the City of Prague Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Nick Rain. So lots of great Saturday morning music to fit in on Classic FM between now and the news at nine, including a violinist recently made a CBE for services to music. And I'll give you a great tip if you need to put your wellies on today. I'll explain more very soon. Just so stirring, that piece, isn't it? The March from the Corellia Suite by Sibelius. Maris Janssen's at the helm of the Oslo Philharmonic Orchestra. And just before, it was the finale of Mendelssohn's Violin Concerto, performed by the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields. And Nicola Bernadetti, CBE. Congrats on the honour, Nicola. You know, Nicola was a regular on Blue Peter back in my day. And she was such an inspiration to all of our young musical viewers. And it's great to hear that she's still doing that now. A very good morning to you. This is Matt Baker. And I know that Alan normally gives you a gardening tip around this time every Saturday. But, you know, I'm not really known for my green finger credentials. But I do know a thing or two about the countryside. So I was racking my brains of the knowledge that I could pass on. So I thought with, the, obviously, the icy weather uh, that we've been having at the moment, and no doubt more to come, I thought, what can I tell you? And so one tip that is very, very helpful to all of us farmers, and I'm not encouraging you to stray away from the footpaths here, but if you do see a water trough that is along a footpath, favour and crack the ice on the top if you can. If you've got a stick with you or a stone or whatever, just smash the ice and make sure that all the animals can get to that lovely fresh water. And actually, while you're out walking, here's a tip for your wellies. Take the inner soles from your trainers or your hiking boots and slip them into your wellies. Trust me, you'll have the comfiest pair of wellies perfectly suited to you. Global. And I'm Matt Baker, thoroughly enjoying my time with you on Classic FM this morning. 
And as it's just gone nine, it's time to delve into the Classic FM Hall of Fame. The chart of 300 pieces you choose every year. This is the best of the very best.